What's going on guys, TTL here, going to be going over my top four NFL plays for tonight's Thursday night football, September 19th, 2024, still on vacation, still having a weird background and still recording on a laptop, so I do apologize if the voice is weird, the webcam's weird, anything like that, but we've got to get continuing with these videos and got to get this content out there for you guys to make some extra money with it. Um, really quick though, guys, if you could, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, guys. I went to the analytics of yesterday's video and there's still more than half of you that are not subscribed. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, guys. I am uploading every single day or I try to anyways. Um, so at least four or five uploads every single week. And more than half of you are not subscribed, so go hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment if you're enjoying the videos. It does help me reach more people. Thank you guys so much for all of that support. And uh, yeah, let's just get into today's pick. So our first pick is going to be, I guess we'll just go in order, uh, the order that makes the most sense. So we're going to go with Aaron Rodgers, and we're going to go with over... 30.5 passing attempts. Now, three of my NFL picks for tonight are going to be from the same team. They're very highly correlated. And then the other pick, the fourth pick, is going to be from the opposing team. So, the first pick from our correlated picks is going to be Aaron Rodgers over 30.5 passing attempts. Um, so, let's go ahead and go to Outlier and pull this up. Players. Aaron Rodgers. Over 30.5 passing attempts. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we can see Rodgers is back, man. He's, he's back better than ever. 21 passing attempts the first game this season. 30 very close passing attempts in his last game. I do expect him to get between like 29 and like 33 passing attempts. So it's going to cut it close. But when we take a look, the opposing team's passing attempts defense, they are 28 out of 32, allowing around 36 and a half passing attempts per game. So Aaron Rodgers, we can already scroll down and we can see they have a 59% passing rate compared to a 41% run rate. They are going to pass the ball and against this op uh, opposing defense that allow 36 and a half passing attempts per game. I don't think he's going to have any issues, especially with all the targets that he has. He has Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Alan Lazard. He has so many options, even Tyler Conklin, man. He has so many options to pass the ball to. I definitely think he's going to have over 30 passing attempts. Let's take the over on the 30.5 passing attempts for Aaron Rodgers. And one play that I really love uh, pairing this with will be Alan Lazard over two and a half receptions. So let's go ahead and pull him up over on Outlier as well. This is a pick that I've loved for a few days now, and I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't bumped. This season, he went over that in the first game. He went barely under in the second game. He had six receptions versus the 49ers, and then he had two receptions versus the Titans. Today, I expect him to get four or five receptions, man. We can take a look. The opposing defense, 32nd in the league, dead last for receptions allowed, versus wide receivers, still dead last, allowing 19 and a half receptions to wide receivers and allowing 27 receptions per game overall. So I am loving this matchup for him. He's third on the list for target share. He has 13 targets this season with a 22.4% target share percentage. I don't think he's going to have any issues. We can see he's um, he's been having a ton of uh, just different target share. Again, guys, it's going to be the same for the next play and this play as well. But again, 59% passing rate compared to a 41% running rate. Definitely going to get the uh, the potential to get plenty of targets this game. And I do think that as long as he gets four or five targets, that he should hit the over two and a half receptions mark. Let's go ahead and lock it in and let's move on to our third play of the day. So our next play is going to be old Brees Hall. So let's go ahead and take a look at him and you can take his um, receptions. That's, that's what I'm going to take. I'm going to take his over four and a half receptions uh, for this play. Um, not someone you would typically expect to get many receptions. He is a running back, technically, but 
he tends to get a lot of receptions, man. We can see he went over this in both games this season. He had five receptions in the first game versus the 49ers. And then he actually had seven receptions last game versus the Titans. And as I was just mentioning, the opposing team allows 27 receptions per game, dead last in the league. And versus running backs, they do typically allow five receptions as well, 22nd out of 32. And again, 59% passing rate, 41% running rate. He's also exceeded this in eight of his last 10 games. So we can see lately he's just been absolutely crushing it. And I'm sorry if you guys hear that background noise. Um, my daughter's making some noise over there in the uh, resort. But got to keep the uh, got to keep the film rolling, you know, got to keep the video going. But he does have a 24.1% target share, 14 targets this season thus far. And I don't think he's going to have any issues um, getting the receptions that he needs today. Now, our last pick and our final pick from the other team is going to be Ramondre. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. Ramondre Stevenson. And you can take his over rushing yards. You can take his over um, rushing attempts. Both of these are good plays. I personally am going to take his over 67 and a half rushing yards. But again, both of those are good plays. And when we scroll down right here, we can go until we see him. There's his rushing attempts right here. We'll go ahead and click on this. And go to his rushing yards right here. So in 2024, he had 120 rushing yards in his first game versus the Bengals. And then he had 81 rushing yards in his last game. So I am absolutely loving this. He's averaging 100.5 rushing yards per game. His line is only at 67 and a half. And when we take a look at the matchup, we can see the Jets rushing yard defense are 24th out of 32 with 155 rushing yards allowed per game. Versus running backs, they're actually 22nd of 32, allowing 126 rushing yards per game to running backs. And when we take a look, they actually have a 58% run rate compared to the 42% passing rate as well. And we can take a look. He has the by far highest rushing attempt with a 61.3% rushing share percentage. So I'm absolutely loving this play. But the rushing attempts and the rushing yards make sense. You can take either one. And I am going to be completely honest with you guys. Most of these plays, if you're going to take them, you can take them somewhere like Sleeper. If you're new to Sleeper, use code TTL. You do get a 100% match up to $250 on your first deposit. Just download the Sleeper app. Sign up using code TTL and make your first deposit. But most of these do have a higher multiplier on an app like Sleeper or on a sports book. So go ahead and check out Sleeper, guys. Put these in on there or just put them in a four pick or even just make your own two pick or make your own five or six pick using these picks. But I do love all four of these. I do think all four of these cash. Um, with the correlation, you do get a little bit of a worse payout, a 9.5x rather than a 10x, but I'm willing to take that. This is very heavily correlated, and as long as Rodgers goes over, I expect them to go over, and if these two go over, I expect Rodgers to go over. That's just how it works with correlation. Again, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. More than half of you are not subscribed. I do appreciate it a ton. Sorry for the bad uh, bad videos lately, guys. It is on the laptop. I'm trying my hardest, I promise. But I will see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.